Welcome back to Good Day. You know your girl loves to snack, your girl loves to eat, which is why I'm very excited to be here on the set, the brand new show, The Good Dish. And with me are the hosts, Daphne Oz, Jamika Pessoa, Gail Simmons. Thank you, ladies, for having me We're today. We're so thrilled. It's Thank so you. nice to have a yes. fourth in the kitchen. I brought a little housewarming oh, oh, gift oh, for you, ladies. Oh, you know us. My favorite snacks. You're the best. And I know that you had Miss uh, Marie Osmond on recently. She didn't like these. However, I have to say her brother, Donnie, he stole that bag from me when he was no, on the show no. a while ago. What? He finished them off. Oh, yeah, Great minds think alike. We, I mean, we just caught her off guard. She was like, hot, hot. So we caught her off guard. We're opening them. Fine, let's get to oh, it. Oh, I like I a little. I tried tacos for the first time recently. What do you think? Mm. They're divine. Because the, the sour, oh, like the, the limey, the crunchy. Lime, let me, oh, she's delicious. She's about to be a spokesperson for tacos. They're, All right. they're addictive. Mm -hmm. Whoop. Good. Good. Eh. So Say that for later. How's the show later. been going? Wow. First of all, oh, I mean, gosh. this is a dream come true for you, ladies. How's everything go been going? It's exactly that. Mm -hmm. It's a dream come true. Um, it's a long time in the making, but the good dish, you know, developed over years. Yeah of doing segments together on the Dr. Oz show and the fact that now we get to do it together every day in this beautiful kitchen. We get to cook the foods we love. We get to talk about the topics we love, meet some incredible celebrity guests who come into our kitchen People bring and us share talkies. with us. Because <laughs> <laughs> we get spicy, <laughs> flaming hot. Yeah. And you get to go yeah. home kind of full. Not oh, kind of, very, very full. Very full. <laughs> but I think the most important thing is we inspire the viewers at home because we take simple ingredients and elevate them. Love it's that. like, I would have never thought of doing that. I yeah. like how these ladies are giving me these tips and tricks and these hacks. So we kind of answer all your questions of what do I do for dinner? How do oh, I get this so on the good. table? We fulfill well, those answers There for is you. that daily stress of just like, what am I going to feed my family tonight? How am yeah. I going to reinvent the five ingredients I've been cooking with for a long time? Like, I want to get out of my comfort zone, but not too far out. Like, yeah. show me how to do it right. And that's what's really exciting for us is we have this deep culinary knowledge to be able to share, but we're also busy working moms. Like, mm. that is the core competency is how to make it practical, how to make it useful for mm -hmm. people, and how to keep it really fun. Like, being yeah. in the kitchen, I talk about this all the time, it should be a place that boosts your confidence. How Love few that. are the places yes, as adults so that we get to go and just like try something new and create and create there you go yes. exactly. and create. we're creating something because you got a little surprise uh -huh. for me today oh, what are yes. we doing you are in for a treat bianca because all right so we have what we call celebrity food battle of the oh, ages boy. okay and we're calling this one who made it better so right now we are putting up Dwayne the rock johnson's banana coconut pancakes head to head against kylie jenner's banana pancakes oh no <laughs> this is epic okay. Okay. for the ages oh, and no. we are putting you on the spot because bianca you get to decide who will flatten out the competition and who wins our hearts okay. and gail and daphne are going to make these two <laughs> so yes you better choose right because i think I that kylie and the rock could take you out they I could take like, us all out i thought so. the rock could body slam me for not picking his then kylie was like she has all over 300 million followers one on post Instagram. and you're out of here. Okay. You better choose Goodness. right, okay? Right. But you think stop. they ever thought they would be in the ring together? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> it seems like a different weight class, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna try right. anyway. Ding, ding, let's go. All right, this is The Rock's coconut banana pancakes. He is known for making epic cheat day meals, and this is one of them. It's his favorite, coconut banana pancakes, mm. and they're actually pretty easy to use, but they have a lot of ingredients. So I have a bowl here that I have sifted all-purpose flour, okay. shredded unsweetened coconut, baking powder, Powder, cane sugar, and there's no protein powder in there because that's how you no, get all those no, muscles. No, no, this is cheat day. This is okay. cheat day. All right, um, <laughs> and they, I've mixed them all together. A little bit of salt in here too. All the dry ingredients. I'm just going to give them a bit of a, a stir. Coconut, shredded coconut, right? shredded coconut which yeah, also gives good. great texture. I put shredded coconut in like everything mm -hmm. I make at home. Thoughts for that in pancakes. In a bowl, I have some eggs and some whole milk. Now get this. I have made a lot of pancakes in my life. Never seen this before. To his, co his eggs and whole milk, he adds coconut oil. Okay. So you always need a little bit of fat. Coconut milk. That sounds great. Okay. Very rich. Some vanilla. So, like, we get that. A little bit of vanilla oh. for some warmth and flavor. Melted butter. Nice. By the way, people, if you skip oil and butter in the pancake mix, you are missing out on the lacy, delicious texture of pancakes that you, that you like, crave from the diner. Yes. That's yes. the move. You gotta yes. have oil and butter. Okay. One or the other. Or oh, the rock does, yes. does both. both. The rock is clearly and then, not an or kind of guy. He does <laughs> it all. a cup of coconut water that he wow. pours into this as well. So there's a lot of liquid. And by the way, coconut four ways. Shredded, oil, <laughs> coconut milk, and coconut water all in here. You're we welcome. We get it, Rock. We <laughs> like right. coconut. He likes we his coconut. 
I do too. <laughs> now I'm gonna make a little well in the center of my dry ingredients, and I'm going to slowly stir in the wet ingredients. I'm gonna switch hands here. So you need I some can, help? Yeah. You, you, you wanna pour? Sure, pour something. me, pour okay. for me, pour for right. me. Get right in there. Right. Are you a big cook, Bianca? You like I love slowly, cookies. slowly, slowly, oh, slowly, slowly. Sorry, a little too fast. That's, <laughs> not, that's okay. excited. Okay. I'm not a good enough cook, but you know, you know, we can keep it going, keep it going. Hopefully, thing. we can make some pancakes. That's right. You can go faster now. Okay. There you go. So I'm gonna mix, perfect, thank you so much. I'm gonna mix it all together. Now he claims mm -hmm. that you should okay. keep it lumpy here. So you wanna work it, but you don't wanna overwork it. Really? Make sure that the, that the dry ingredients are incorporated, but he says leave it lumpy, and I'm gonna do whatever the rock tells me. You better. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Um, okay, so I've done that, and then the last step is to fold in diced banana. Notice uh, okay. he doesn't mash the banana here. He just dices it super small, beautiful little dice, and folds it in. Cool. All and right. then he wow. greases, you know, using some cooking spray, a skillet, Yes. Okay. And makes his pancakes right there. So this is how they look when they're done. They are massively large. Leave it to the rock to make a pancake that looks like a boulder. Okay. <laughs> yes. Size, size, <laughs> I wonder how many you can polish off in one sitting. I don't know, but we're going to try to okay. polish off ours right now. I'm, all right. Okay. Thank Jump you. in. Yeah, I got it. Ladies, we got forks. Okay. Here you go. Got some more size over there. Syrup. Thank you. Oh. Syrup. Syrup. Oh, the rock does syrup. Nice. All right, I'm going to write it yes, right please. like this. Okay. All right. Thank you. Go in, girls. Got Ooh. syrup. Okay. Do you need syrup? Sure. With I mean, I, I was going to just fold this like a taco, but I was advised I'll take to some syrup over there. eat it with a fork and a, Come and a on. I'm going. I'm going with We don't really <laughs> eat that cute around here. Okay. When the cameras are off, we go to town. Very pretty colory, <laughs> though. You know, you might as well just want to show it off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. That's it. Have a taste. Have a taste. Jewelry in the kitchen. Got it. All right. The coconut definitely comes through. And, and those textural bananas. Yes, but the banana's not in every bite. It's like a secret surprise of, mm. oh yeah, well, there are bananas love... in there, but it's nice. What a nice addition with mm. the coconut. Mm -hmm. I've never thought to put that in, in uh, pancakes. Well, I'm putting unsweetened shredded coconut. You would oh. get the texture in a little flavor, but by adding the oil, the milk, mm -hmm. the, you know, all the coconut water, I think it really reinforces it and feels really tropical and delicious. Very this rich. This is really good. All right. It's a lot of ingredients. It is. It's, it's, you know, maybe it might be hard for people to keep track of all that. True. Right? Especially if you're trying to hurry up and do this in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Amazing. But we definitely smell what The Rock is cooking. Wait, The Rock doesn't come with these? <laughs> no, no, these are we, you make your own. We can only <laughs> imagine with each bite. All right, so Daphne, what are you doing over here with this Kylie pancake? So I'm gonna do Kylie Jenner justice on these delicious looking pancakes. They are about half the ingredients of The yeah. Rocks. Mm -hmm. But the question is, will they stand up in complexity and flavor despite having fewer ingredients mm. to work with? So she, Look, she's a busy mom. She's mm -hmm. got a lot going yes. on. You so think? she doesn't she doesn't chop up. Yeah, exactly. Um, she doesn't chop up her banana nice and small. She just mashes it like so with a potato masher or two forks, which I have to say I love. I do this in my own pancakes quite a lot because it does just infuse the sweetness as a natural sweetener yeah. throughout mm -hmm. the entire mix. You don't get the textural play, but it's still quite delicious. She has an egg going in. Maybe that's two actually. And then I can transition to a piece of equipment that actually mixes. There you go. <laughs> I just give that a quick whisk. <laughs> Some vanilla extract, classic. Kylie's recipe is quite classic. She has just two things that I think are going to surprise people. Yes, oat milk. Okay, that's so, a And surprise. you can use almond milk. Um, or regular milk, and then a little bit, a bit of a dark brown sugar. I thought this was oh, a cool trick, that's nice. just to give it that like multi flavor, a little bit of extra sweetness. Get it out of there. There we go. Nice. Okay, so then once we have our wet mix all together like so, then we're gonna put in a box to pancake mix. Well, you know, it's easy, right? <laughs> Keeps it right. easy. No shame in the game. It's no it's, judgment, Carly. And then you know, I, she didn't specify whether to leave it, uh, you know, textural or not, but. I think presumably you don't want to overwork it because you don't want chewy pancakes. See, We're not I trying to develop that. the gluten. Mm -hmm. I, d I thought you were supposed to have it like the smoothest it could be. No, no. no. you don't actually. That's okay. why my pancakes come out subpar. Okay. <laughs> ah, well, right. not anymore. Now though. we got you. And you know what? I would add a little pinch of salt, but this is Kylie's recipe. Then she puts it onto a greased griddle just like The Rock did. And the question if that remains oh, is Bianca, will you choose Kylie okay. Jenner or The I, Rock's pancakes? This is a little too, I'm a little Thank stressed you. out now. Thank you. I'm to add some. Uh, you want more syrup on that? Let's try a little syrup. Little syrup on that. I'm going to try to make it out. I know. I really want, think the syrup, I want to get Lucky. all the true flavors first. Your Good point. point. Good mm. point. Okay. Syrup over here if you mm. want. Mm -hmm. Simple. I like that we're just. I don't even need the syrup on this one, I think, actually. That little bit of brown sugar in Wait, there. Wait, what's this face? What are we saying? What's she saying? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry. Because you I'm have not to really make sorry. the final call on this, Bianca. I know. What do you think? You know, I so want to go with 
a recipe that has this complexity, all these different healthy additions, the coconut water. I love that. But as soon as I've been into this. Oh. Um, you're choosing Kylie's pancakes? I'm sorry, The Rock. Don't, oh. don't come body slam me. Uh -oh. He's coming to your house. She <laughs> said it, not me. There you go. What's wrong with the pancakes? I thought that was, um, that, that was a really quick pick for me. Yeah. No, it's actually really good. Wow. Is, really it the, is it the fact that it's from the box? It could be nostalgia kicking in for you. I know. I get it. It's really fluffy, very tender, delicious. The rocks were also delicious. Yeah. There's no loser here. This yeah. It's really the, the winner. The banana, winner though, circle. both was mm -hmm. chef's kiss. There we go. And we learned some good things about pancakes. That's true. Now you get to, you know, <laughs> certainly up my pancake game. Ladies, thank you so much for letting me come. Um, I'm glad we didn't add any uh, spicy Cheetos to that mix. Well, we could. Mm. They're the next course. Yeah, I don't break. know how well yes, that would have gone down, but <laughs> if you ever need me to come back and taste test some of the stuff, please call me. Anytime. Any time. We've got lots of food. <laughs> Cannot wait. All right, you guys, you can watch The Good Dish weekdays at 1 on Fox 5. Learn some tips. Come cook with the ladies and hang out. A lot more Which good day coming up after this. <laughs> this one. Mm. <laughs>